Alrighty guys, <clears throat> again, I apologize for the inconvenience. There we go. Resume. Okay. Okay, so it's putting me back over here again. Ashley needs medical attention. Yeah, I know. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Ash. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. <clears throat> Thank you guys for hanging on. Lieutenant Commander Williams was critically wounded. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. <clears throat> but we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. Yeah, unfortunately. Luck, they'll give you all the support we need. I do apologize for having to go through all this part again, but that is, uh, unfortunately where we're at. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Lieutenant Commander Williams? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers. Yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? Mm. I'm going to check on Ashley and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. <sighs> Hopefully the mic is connected better this time. Oh my god, I wish I could fast forward through all this. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Hmm. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Hey, thanks Captain for Bay. joining me. Good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. <laughs> Congrat uh, I like thanks. that. Congratulations. <laughs> you now half my job is dealing with political bullshit. Is, like, is that a question? <laughs> no offense. None taken. So, you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. <laughs> We've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. <laughs> I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required stracial bindings. Meet you back here. You got pretty banged up there, Williams. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. If you need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. I like looking around. Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Medigel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? Mm. I don't understand it. It doesn't even hurt. It would if we took you off the painkillers, Lieutenant. I 
Oh, keep up and I find something. You know, collecting collectible something. Oh, that sucks for that guy, huh? Nothing. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to save it here in case it screws up again. I also want to change something real fast. Key bindings. Unfortunately, um, to mute the mic if something happens, like I've had a phone call or two every now and then. Um, where's the mic? I have to make sure this has been removed. Move it to N. Okay. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment, please. This way, uh, if I have to mute the mic for some reason, the map track is going to come up on screen like I did like earlier. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Oh, sure. Now we arrive in the Embassy. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Citadel Embassies. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons have been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. What else is in the area? This area is reserved for human embassy personnel and attending CSEC security. The human embassy prides itself on offering swift assistance to any who fall under its auspices. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. According to the Council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of the massive and organized invasion. Okay, let's see. So you want to go that way, right? Yes. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. <laughs> well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. <laughs> Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. <laughs> Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. <laughs> I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? You don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. <laughs> you know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> It's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. 
If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Mm hmm. Yeah, thanks, guys, for joining me. Commander, Counselor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Counselor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any council homeworld. But Earth was the first council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True, but in the end we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? After what you've seen of the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. <sighs> Damn it! Idiots. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Yep. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander. I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Palavin's prime Mark Fedorian is the one that called the war summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... You want me to rescue his ass in the hopes he considers helping Earth? Put bluntly, yes. I shouldn't mm. even be telling you about it, but we need Fedorian alive, and your ship can get him. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. While the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it.
There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, mm. that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this suit. <coughs> Move things along. Thanks. Well, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Weapon, yeah, there's nice. From across the Milky Way, this is the Alliance News Network. Okay. Oh, I don't have the money for that. Oh, no, I don't want to go shooting range. That's all that is. I'm saying there's nobody else here. Up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. Mm. But the war is being felt everywhere. Millions across the galaxy have been displaced, and most of them come here. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We mm. all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. It'll probably get worse before it gets better, Bailey. Yeah, if it ever gets better. Yeah, so true. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Mm, okay, I guess I can't go anywhere else. Nope, I guess not, because that's pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. 
Well, Ash won't be coming with us because <clears throat> she's still going to be down for a while, I'm sure. Well, welcome to hour three, guys. I was going to stop earlier, but um, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here with me. Oh, there's the boy again. This is a trip. <laughs> Poor Shepard is torturing himself. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard? I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Hmm. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. Hmm. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Except Edie. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self-aware. 
Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. <laughs> Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how mm, attractive your voice was. <laughs> Shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. That's you can before. also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. And <laughs> there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking mm. of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whew. Commander. Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it. And if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Yes, sir. <sighs> Got the big calm room. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That was good news. Not. I hate the fact you can't talk to anybody yet. Half the time of the crew. There's only so many people you can talk to. A model. This must be for the crew. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If Thessia was lost and Earth hasn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. I'm gonna see Joker. It's been a long time. Obviously, he's been out of touch with him for some time. Hey, Commander. 
You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. Yeah, for old time's sake. <laughs> Oh, I love him. He's just too funny. That looks like we get the door again. I hated that when they they took that away the last time. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. For increased tactical control, bring up the power menu. This pauses the action, giving you time to evaluate the battlefield, target new enemies, and select a power. To use a power to attack an opponent, target the enemy before pausing the game. Okay, this was a mistake, because I can't stop this. Ah. The power will fire at the targeted enemy as you return to action. Duh! I know all this! Go away! For maximum tactical effectiveness, use squad mate powers in combination with your own, hitting enemies with up to three powers at once. Thank you, go away. Mail. Okay, hack it. Alliance forces a stretch thing across the galaxy. Yeah, okay. Yep. Flash, flash, flash. Alliance military personnel. Wire all human territory for the animal hack it. Uh, yeah, with well, that part I know already too. My dog. <laughs> Big Commander Shepard. And anomalies. Oh, great. So I got a medical dog on me. Okay. Retrofitnomity. Right, 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 right. Okay, good luck. Right. Shh. We're a partner. Sit over. Corian fleet, the latest shows a reaper system. Reaper hitch. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen too. Open the door, proceed. Small welcoming gift should be appropriate. Okay. Even Prime. They're on Eden Prime? Oh, the bastards. Okay, let's check out the ship real fast. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. That looks wicked. I got no fish. What did they do? They kill my fish? Man, they kill my fish. I'm gone a few months and they kill my fish.
I kind of like that, huh? Go ahead and change colors. Ooh. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm a huge fan of blue myself. That red looks kind of wicked, though. <laughs> I'll turn this off. I did blue last time. Uh, since you don't really have too much crew, we'll go ahead and go back to the combat center and, uh, I probably should work on my weaponry, but that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and take off. Okay, so we got Reapers there. We got Reapers there. We got Reapers there. Super slabs over there. Okay, where are we supposed to be going again? Shoot. Okay, so that's the one we want. I'm assuming that's that because, yeah, he's over here. Okay, so that's where we're going to go then. Straight to the heart. Of the battle. Search and rescue, right. I don't know if we get to mine stuff like we did last time. I one of my favorite things. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that one. Doesn't do as much damage. I like the damage on this one. Even though the fire rate on that one seems to be a little bit better. You know what? We'll try it. See what happens.
Okay. Confirm. We can't modify that weapon, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Nope, stick with that. Modify the katana though. Accuracy a little less though, but damage, fire rate, and capabilities a little bit higher. Okay. No mods for her though. Ooh, got some points to spend. Got some new stuff too, nice! Oh, nah, damn it. Bitch. Oh, this is not good. Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Commanding officer. Straight ahead and around the corner, past the first barricade. Shit, my headphones are dying too. God damn it. Hang on.
I say too because my tablet, which I'm using right now to view uh, the live stream, so I can check the chat, is on low power. And unfortunately, I haven't got a spare cord I could use um, nearby, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> um, so you guys gotta give me a second here. Uh, I'm gonna take care of my cord problems, and we'll get this taken care of, guys. All right. Just hang on one moment. Alrighty guys, I do apologize for the brief interruption. Okay. That's way. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir! General? Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. Mm -hmm. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Uh-oh. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. 
He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Mm. Let's go! Guess we're going this way. Hmm. Take it for later. I think he's already done. <laughs> Okay. We can't repair it from this panel. Hmm. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah. Let's take them. Shepard, I've repaired the tower's main satellite connection. On my way down. General, do you read? The comp tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavan Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out.
what have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. Hmm. <laughs> James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. <laughs> Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. Yes. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the Rebels took. Then the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy. But wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. <laughs> you think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Just well, wait, Joker. We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like oh. she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! Whoa! Big ugly! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. <laughs> it's like old times. Okay, where are we going? Uh... Jane, is that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Adrenaline's better than oxygen every day. Just me? Or do those Reapers look like Turians? You're right. They do.
I think we're done here. Okay, I'm already full of ammo, looks like, because I'm not like anything else I can collect here. So let's head back to the base and see what's going on. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Holy crap, what's that? Holy hell, what is that thing? Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> of course, I'd have to face it out the big gun. Sure. Ouch, Ron, you idiot. What weapons do I have right now? Whoa! I don't think so, you schmuck! Run!
Look at this. He's What's dead. the word on the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Damn it. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Which is always a possibility in this place. there my dad a sister how bad is it three million lost the first day five the second how's your military holding up look around that should give you some idea you're putting up a good fight for now but how long does it take before the fights kicked out of you if they'd only listen to your warnings about the reapers you might have been ready maybe hard to figure how you prepare for something like this that's true. with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. Mm. It's gonna be bad all over. Uh, leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. In itself. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. I guess we're this way. Yep, that's what I thought. I guess we're going down. So, Commander, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not <laughs> that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Yep, so have I. It's one thing I miss about the new game is not to be any Krogan. They weren't part of the fleets that left. That sounds bad! Okay, double time! No Reapers taking this Primarch from me! Right behind you! Ow! Hey! 
Gosh, dang it. Well... That's the auto save is right there, so... I think we're gonna go ahead and call it here, guys. I want to thank everyone who stopped by and checked out my channel today. Um, I appreciate it very much that you guys were here tonight uh, and checked out part one of my Mass Effect 3 playthrough. I hope you guys will join me for more uh, Mass Effect in the future. Um, I want to thank uh, Skull2323 underscore. Uh, and of course, my buddy Spawman uh, for stopping in here earlier. Uh, everyone else just stopped by. I saw a few other names come through here and there. Um, so thank you guys very much for being here and uh, being a part of the Ratscast. I always appreciate it very much. Uh, remember, I am a small time streamer. Uh, no support, no whatever. So the fact that you guys stop by, take time out of your busy day, come watch me play, means a lot to me. So thank you guys very much for doing so. And thanks for your support and following me here on um, Twitch and on uh, YouTube as well. So it means a whole lot to me that you guys would take that time. Um, as always, I want to remind you guys, if you have any comments or questions whatsoever uh, about uh, Mass Effect 3 or any of the games I play, uh, suggestions or ideas for upcoming games, maybe something that seems to me play more of, or uh, would just like to join me in the multiplayer games I play, uh, you can tweet me at Cyber, that's the easy way to get a hold of me, direct message to me on Twitch, uh, or um, in this case on Origins, you can find me on Steam, Uplay, and Battle.net, as well as on PlayStation Network, wherever there's gaming, you'll find the Cyber Rat. Uh, you can also check out my YouTube channel, The Rats Cast, which has tons of uh, content and videos to watch from past games. Uh, that I've played uh, a lot of stuff there, a lot of fun stuff I made, a little er excerpts and stuff, uh, multiplayer match uh, things. So fun stuff, fun stuff, that's for sure. Um, you can leave me comments, questions there as well. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the Rats Cast on YouTube. Uh, you can also follow me on Google Plus and on Facebook, and you can leave me comments, questions there as well, guys. Again, thank you all for being here and being a part of the Rats cast. Uh, this has been a fun three-hour uh, trip into Mass Effect, and we'll be doing more Mass Effect in the days to come. Um, the next couple of days, we'll be off and on with various games, including uh, Mass Effect 3, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, uh, Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Special Edition, uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and Modern Warfare Remastered, of course. Um, as well as just whatever else I feel like playing. Uh, a lot of stuff to do for you guys. So uh, please stay tuned for more of the Rats cast. So uh, that is going to be it for tonight's episode. Again, thank you and I appreciate you guys' uh, support. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time on the Rats cast. Until then, this is Cyber Rat signing out for now. Later, bye.